so after you have completed the load combination as per your desired code then you have to go for the check of this model to check this model you can go to here select and by specification or by going to here by missing attribute just check missing properties if you have any member you have not assigned as this is a very small model that's why there will be no mistake but by going to here select and missing attributes you can check some properties here and by going to also here symbols and labels you can check here the size full section apply ok and also by going to have this icon 3d rendered view you can check the member how is that looking so this is the way of checking your model and now after completion everything you have to go to go for the analysis to do that go to first command then analysis perform analysis okay and now go to here analyze or you can write ctrl plus f5 from the keyboard to start analysis i'm just clicking here run analysis it will ask to save just save the model and it will do analysis and it will take some time depending on the size of your model and now click here go to post processing mode done okay now you can see and here are some new icon you can see here the first one is deflection which is by default selected and you can see here a green line here along this frame and that is showing the deflected mood and as per the selected combination here if you check this combination say dead load plus live load you can see the deflected shape is changing here so i can check this deflection shear force bending moment everything later just i am uh, going for the uh, design right now and after the finalizing the size we have to check the deflection and moment or other parameter if i want to check that manually okay and now go to here after the completion of analysis here the sister editor search here analysis and the after the perform analysis enter here write load space list and i have load list 5 to 5 to 7 now save and if you have more load case i have starting the load case from 5 which is my combination not the only sim single load case i have to list here the load combination only so i have the load combination is starting from 5 to 7 that's why i am doing load list 5 to 7 if you have 5 to 10 you have to write here 5 to 10 or any other value available as per your model now save then close this window and now go for the design so we have already completed our analysis but we have not checked any value i will show you how to check the values reactions bending moment shear force and other forces after completion of the design you can see here at the left side the icon is design click this design icon and from here current code select AIAC as there are lots of code you can check here you can use as per your requirement now after selecting this click at define parameter and from here you have to define some parameter and first you have to define FYLD so check FYLD and I have this is yield strength of steel and yield strength of steel should be as per the grade if you have 36 grade then this should be 250123 clean engine square and if you have any other grade say 50 then as per the value you have to change here I am just using 36 case which is the 36 grade click add now go to here UNT and UNB first is UNT unsupported length of the top planes for calculation bending capacity so for my raptor I have a parallel at 1.1 meter apart that's why for my raptor I have the unsupported length 1.1 meter for the parallel spacing and at the bottom I have a stangle which is one parallel apart that's why the spacing for the bottom of the raptor flange should be double the spacing of the parallel so the UNT should be 1.1 m add this is for my raptor and select this UNB which is 2.2 double the spacing of parallel add this is due to east angle and for the column here you can see I have some parallel here which is the wall parallel that I have a brick wall height of 2.34 meters so this is my unsupported length this is the maximum so go to here unb this should be 2.34 
add and also event 2.34 add close okay from here you can see all the value i have uh, defined is available here now select this one fild and from here assign to view so i have this instance for all this member so that's why i'm selecting here assign to view assign okay then event will be for raptor only select all this raptor pressing the control key from the keyboard assign okay this one is also for the raptor assign okay this one is for column assign and this should be assigned to selected beam assign okay next one is these two assign okay done now go to here commands from here this first one check code add and you can see a take up the weight of the is still after the completion of the design check, uh, check this take up add close select this one assign to view this should be for all assign yes and the take up is for all the members so assign yes okay so we have also define all the design parameter here now i have to go here again analysis run analysis then save it will take some time check this uh, middle one go to post processing mode done okay and now from here at the left side you can see beam click this icon and now you can see you need to check now you can see that you need you need to check so the value under one is adequate so value over one is not adequate so you have to increase the size so it is wise to keep the size around one not le uh, too much less than one and not greater than one so you have to try to optimize this value just approximately one so you can see the value is greater than one that's why i have to change the size of the member so go to here modeling from a general and the first one i have to increase the size double click on this first one i have 300 i want to change this to say six five and eight this is i can change this to 11 mm just change yes close next one this should be six five because i have changed this to six five eight i can change that to 10 mm change third one this is 300 300 256 say this is 8 and this is 10 mm change close fourth one same way i can change this to 8 mm and this is 10 mm change close so after changing the size you have to go again analysis run analysis save go to post processing mode done okay click this beam icon then you need to check now you can see almost the size is just work not working yet you have to increase the size mode so give the next trial go to model link general this one so i'm changing to three five this is a seven zero next one this should be seven zero and say this is three five change close so this should be three five three five change close this one also three five here and can five five change close again analysis run analysis save so you can see the value is almost some are almost one so you have to increase this size more i'm not giving any trial so you have to change the size any more so when your size is finalized then you have to check for deflection first so go to here and click here this icon click this post processing here and by default you can see deflection is selected and when your model is selected if you press control from the keyboard and you scroll the mouse which you can see the uh, shape is changing so the scale of the deflected shape is changing here to understand the value uh, more better and if i change the combination form at uh, dead load and wheel load you can see the shape is changing so dl and live load and to check the value here available you have to go to here results view value form here beam result to check the deflection click here displacement 
annotate close now you can check the value maximum 207 is the maximum deflection so as per your code you have to check the allowable deflection i have almost three I have 30076 divided by say 240 it should be 125 maximum so the size is not adequate so you have to increase the size more to reduce this allowable deflection and same way you can check the lateral sway from here which is the maximum 2874 you have to check that for the wheel load this combination you can see this is 59 so from here you can check the allowable deflection limit as per your code okay click here post processing uncheck this one select this mz moment from here and changing the combination here you can check the value to check this value from here same we have to go to a result view value beam then bending moment you can check all these three annotate close and now you can see the value here from and there is also other easy way to check after the design is done double click on any member go to here still design and from here you can see here the available load combination governing for this design which is load combination 5 and to check the moment here you can also check by going to here share bending and from here you can check the bending moment by selecting this and picking the valve from here which is kilometer meter so you can also take the moment from here the maximum moment and also the shear force you can check from here okay so bending moment shear force you can check from there and also there is this is shear force and this is shear force and this is the axial force if i want to check this one click this one and click the mz and now you can see the value if i want to show the value from here the same way you have to go to your result p value beam force axial annotate close okay now you can see the value from here and this way you can check all the different values and now if i want to print the reaction of this my supports i can do that go to here modeling from here press shift then s to disappear the supports and now shift n to show the node so i have node 1 and 9 for the support and now take a picture for this window from here this icon take picture this is picture one okay now go to here file and from here a report setup and from this available check this picture and select this picture click this right arrow to take this picture here and from here change this is output and find for reaction this is reaction check this icon to uh, shift from here to here and going to here load case you can select available load case i don't want to check for this single load case just left arrow and i want to check for this three combination only and now click ok go to here file again then print preview report now you can see here the reaction now click here print from here you have to be add of a pdf writer installed in your computer to do this pdf so i have this program installed from here i can select go to properties and change this to any other available case i save for okay now okay and it will ask to save so i am saving this to my desktop okay now you can see the available reaction for node 1 and 9 so from here this lead you can check this 1 and 9 reaction which is fx f y and fz and as i am using this is my pin type support so i don't have moment here so that's why i have fx and fy only so from here you can design your foundation and make sure if you have taken this reaction then you have to to design the foundation you have to add the load from the great beam wall to the foundation so you have also some other load to design the foundation of this particular support so this is the design of the mainframe of a industrial steel shed building and in in the next video i'm going to show you how to design the gable frame just editing this existing frame so thanks for watching my this video see you in the next video